Hello, everybody. What we're going to do is find out the area of this triangle here, and we'll do this together. So since we are doing this together, I want you to do the same things along with me. So if you have to pause this video or rewind, do it because you need to, because we want you, I want you to follow along with me, okay? Um, first thing we're going to do, let's do this one together. Let's find the area of this triangle. So go ahead and click on this link, click over here, and it'll take you to the Desmos website. And there you go. There's the same triangle that we have on the screen. Now, one thing I like to do, if you don't have the grid lines, is to click here where it says graph settings, and then press, click on grid, and it'll show that it's an eight by two. Now, it doesn't seem like it. the base is eight, because if I count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 16, looks like the base is 16. So one thing you could do is um, if you zoom out, it'll show for sure that the base is actually eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the height for sure counting up is one, two, okay? So this is a triangle with a base of eight and a height of two. Now, um, we need to make a new shape. And the way to do this on Desmos is if you go over here where it says rotate, I want you to Move this all the way to the end, to the right. And look what happens. Basically, what we're doing is making another copy of that triangle and rotating it. Okay. Now, look what just happened. We just made a new shape with those two triangles. And what shape is that? That shape is a rectangle. So what we're going to say is we just made a rectangle. So in this box for 1A, you would type rectangle. I made a rectangle. Now, what is the base? Well, we know the base is 8. We could always count that again to be sure. But the base is indeed 8. So we'll type 8 for 1B. What is the height? The height is still 2. It's still 2 units tall. Okay, now how are we going to find the area of the triangle? Because it says, what is the area of a triangle? Well, we know how to do area of a rectangle because area of a rectangle is just 8 times 2. The rectangle is 8 times 2. But now they're not talking about the rectangle. It says here, what is the area of the triangle? Well, the triangle is half of a rectangle. Or if we say this in another way, we can take the rectangle, cut it in half, and we get the area of that triangle, okay? So basically, we're cutting in half. We're cutting the rectangle in half. So basically, we have to divide by two if we want the triangle. So this is eight times two divided by two. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay. So for the triangle, the area is 8. For the rectangle, the area is 16. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope this, this helps you with number one. 